It's not the car you travel. It's not the money you make. It's not the city you stay that makes you complete. It's the places you travel and the memories you take that makes you a complete being. Hey guys, this is Harry Sudan and welcome to my channel for some good travel content. Coimbatore is the Manchester of South India and Uti is the queen of hills. Here are the top 10 list of places you should see in a Uti and Coimbatore trip. EOC Park it's not a massive park or zoo. It's a tiny zoo with some birds, crocodiles and snakes. If you are a family traveler, your kids will definitely enjoy this place. Odisha Trade Center if you are visiting Coimbatore, make sure that you search Google to see if there is any events happening in Kodesia. It's a place where all the giant trade fairs happen in Coimbatore. You may find some interesting fairs sometimes. When we were in Coimbatore, we found the Coimbatore Shopping Festival in Kodesia. It was good with 300 plus stalls, some entertainment for kids and a food court. Definitely recommended. Town Hall, Grosskut and Araspuram are three shopping districts in Coimbatore. Find street side shops in Town Hall and Grosskut Road. Find textile shops like Pothis, Chennai Silks and Sri Devi Tex in Town Hall and Grosskut Road. Dine in some excellent vegetarian restaurant in these areas. Araspuram is a poor shopping district with some high quality non-veg restaurants, bars and quality shopping experience. Isha Yoga is a divine experience one should never miss. It's the yoga capital of Coimbatore. Take bath in Surya Kund or Chandra Kund, where you will have a new experience like never before. Immense yourself into the meditation in front of Dhyana Linga. Rediscover yourself. Don't miss the Adi Yogi and some wonderful pujas that were performed in front of the Adi Yogi every evening. If you find still time in Coimbatore, you can see the Alia Dam, Black Thunder and Valpare. Take a early morning 3 hour drive from Coimbatore to Uti to escape the city and get lost into the woods. Without any delay, visit the botanical garden of Uti. Walk around the lush green grass and take some snaps for your memories. Shop around the botanical garden and don't forget to bargain. Relax yourself by riding a boat around the Uti lake. Usually it's too crowded during the peak seasons and weekends. You can also enjoy some fast food in the food square at the boathouse. Ninth Mile is a scenic place where you can grab some fast food and walk into the meadows endlessly. This is the place where the views are awesome to describe and it's a shooting spot too. It's exactly 9 miles from the city Uti and hence named Ninth Mile. Paikara Falls you have to walk around 50 steps down to see the spectacular falls. The falls is not so tall but definitely worth watching. Walk down the steps, grab some photos and walk up the hill again. Relax by having some kulfis, pepsis, coca colas and some fast food. Around 2 km from Paikara Falls you have a boating area where you can pedal around with your family, have some fun and get back. You can also visit places like the Rose Garden, Tea Museum, Dotapeta, Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary. If you still have time in Uti, visit the Sims Park, Dolphin Snows and Golf Course in Kunu. And that concludes our Uti and Coimbatore trip. Make sure you visit all the places and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, goodbye.
yakın.